All right, third grade, you are just finishing up on your pointillism project. Our next project has to deal with painting a plate in a radial design. So what you're going to do is when you are done with your pointillism project, you're going to get a plate. Uh, first things first, you're going to put your name on the back. Please write that in pencil so that it can actually be seen. So this will be Myers, and then um, it'll be like three Lepkes. So that's what you're going to do. And then after you get that done, you're going to flip it over. And then I have the paints from when we were painting um, the pointillism. So you just use the same, the same paints. And what you're going to do is you're going to cover this in a design. So if you look at this one, a radial design starts in the middle and works its way outward. Like you could have like spokes going out. It could be just circles that go around. But it's going to be a pattern that is going to work from the center. And that's why we um, call it a radial design. Okay, so it's kind of like a spokes of a bicycle or something like that. So I always start with my lightest colors first because it makes it a lot easier. So you can decide where you want them if you want to just kind of paint that up and then go from there. I always like to kind of start with a bright yellow spot. Um, and you might want to do, you know, any place that's going to be yellow, you can just paint that up. And yes, you can use your paintbrush. You don't have to do the Q-tips. This is not a pointillism project. This is just coloring this um, plate right now. So. And you might want to do some different designs. Um, kind of have some fun with some of the colors and kind of see what happens to them. Um, and just make it look really cool. I really don't want to see very much white if I can help it. So if you can, uh, when you paint these, make them look really cool um, and make sure that your white doesn't like stand out too much. You know, you can do some really fun designs. So if you're doing a radial design, it's going to have repeating elements to it. So it looks going to look kind of like a, a spiral that's, or a bike wheel or something like that. Usually um, it's going to have some vertical designs to it and some um, horizontal designs to it. So it's going to be really cool looking. This one kind of looks like a fun design already. Um, And you can do just different types of things inside it. What can you make it look like? What are some designs you can do to make it look visually interesting? Like I said, you're going to try to get as much white covered. You don't want to see a lot of white. Um, and just do a repeating pattern. That's going to make it look really cool. And you're going to paint all the way to this outside edge, so make sure that you get it all looking really cool. Just a little bit more. I don't want you painting the back or the bottom of this bowl or this plate. So try to make sure that you don't cover the the bottom of your plate because then you cover up your name. So really just focusing on the top and where food usually is. All right. So once you're done, 
then you will put this in the drying rack and then you will clean up your mess. All right, have fun.